Ten Penimbofu came to South Africa in 2013, desperate for work. He worked at a scrapyard for two years. When he lost that job, he knew he had no choice but to use whatever skill he had learned at the scrapyard for survival. At the end, he came up with an idea of creating custom-made furniture from steel drums. Mbofu is a welder by profession. I had this idea of being an entrepreneur, but the thing was, uh, the challenge was, what can I do? What can I do that is not in the industry? That is something new. I was thinking of something new until I came up with this idea of, uh, of drums. And it was something new. Though, when I started, people were like, uh, were commenting with funny stories like, oh, how do they sound like? If, what, what if kids play with them and <laughs> beat like drums? But he was undeterred. So I was like, oh, people are just throwing away drums and why don't they, why can't I think of something that can maybe ben be benefiting people or that I can maybe make a living with from these things. Mbofu's products are eco-friendly by design. He recycles, repurposes, used steel drums into these striking furniture designs. He now has a clear plan of how he'd like to expand his small operation. I want to spread my market like in Africa at large, even globally. So right now, we, for me to attack the global thing and the Africa at, at, at large is not going to happen now because of uh, financial masters and which is still uh, at an early stage. But uh, in five years time, I, what I want, what I'm dreaming is to have in each and every or in maybe f uh, some of the countries in Africa, I want to have my workshops. Earlier this year, Mpofu posted one of his steel chairs on social media and the response was good. He says he will continue using social media as his only marketing tool. Yulisan Jamila, CGT and Johannesburg, South Africa.